Hello everyone, it's Denise and I'm back with you today with another settlement build tour. This was part of a build challenge that was given out by Morpheus GI. I'll link his channel in the description. And this was for a compact build. So it had to be two floors and then utilizing the roof and it had to have a purpose. And uh, also I could not use place anywhere. And so there was a lot of pillar work having to do on this build. Uh, but I made it work. It took a little bit longer than normal just because I couldn't use place anywhere, but that's all right. Uh, I added a bunch of extra stuff. I don't know if that was against the rules or not, but I wanted her to have a little outhouse, a place to fish, and, you know, just extra little set pieces that I think would make sense here. Like she's got a little outdoor cooking station here, and of course she's got her dog for some extra protection there. And she's got a little lounge place out here to read. And she's got this one little turret right there that, that also helps out with um, protection. In fact, they just got attacked here by some mongrel dogs uh, not too long ago. Uh, this little guy's from Creative Clutter, so that hat was already on him placed a lot of these trees and stuff. Uh, and spots that I thought would look, make it look more natural. Here's her little fishing spot. And here's where she washes her clothes and then she can also, I guess, bathe there. And so I put some towels out there for her as well. She's got plenty, uh, I think, light over here. I don't really check this place out at night, so hopefully they, they'll have enough light. I've got some Marlurks hanging about. Here's the yellow one. He's pretty cute. And then I have old Jangles over here in an inner tube. He wants to float around there. Put some extra trees and shrubbery out there and put this dead tree out here. I meant to add some birds, some um, uh, crows and gulls hanging about. All right, so let's go check out the outhouse here. It's nothing fancy, of course, <laughs> but um, like she, I gave her some extra oven mitts there to, uh, in case things got really messy. <laughs> apologize for these doors they they didn't used to work but now I guess the automatic closing mechanism is now working and so yeah they they pushed me out of the way so that's what that jerkiness was there sorry about that all right so then over here uh, there is another little Meyer alert guy here he is and he's my favorite because he's like got the multicolors he's got like olive green turquoise and kind of a rusted color so yeah this little Meyer lurks they're, they're funny they'll, um, they'll pretty much stay where you put them but sometimes they'll like that one was wanting to hang up uh, hang around the uh, lounge area and I was like go back in the water and He's been staying in the water ever since, so. So here's a little boat over here. There's nothing fancy about it. There's no like proper uh, port or anything to kind of, you know, like wharf or anything to get on it. You just jump in it and go <laughs> and then jump in it and come back and park it and, and um, put the tire there so it won't float away on you. But there's a little gnome over there. He kind of watches out for it. Make sure no one steals it. <laughs> and so she's got quite a bit of milk so I thought it would make sense to put a Brahmin over here so again I just kind of made this crude little setup. It's definitely nothing fancy. So he just hangs out there, or she, whatever. 
All right, um, put some blood leaf around. Let's go into the house. Put all these little lamps here because I wanted it to be at least lit a little bit so she could see where she was going. So she's got some meat, some fish that she's caught, and they're air drying, I guess. Well, she's got plenty of food, a few drugs hanging about, a few sweets, a lot of canned meat. She's got some books here to read. But since she's out here by herself, she's probably going to want to read. She's got her one little cat. He likes to sleep there on top of the suitcase. She found a couple of collectible cars, so she decided to put those over there so she can look at them every day. So when she finally found some gems that she's mined for in the rock, she can, you know, clean them off with the soap and the rag, polish them with the bone cutter, inspect them with the magnifying glass, and then look even closer at them through the microscope um, and use the tweezers to hold it so she doesn't fog up the gems with her fingerprints, I guess. <laughs> and she's got some extra storage over here for Nuka energy drinks and beer and going upstairs this is very small she does have her little cooking stove up here and some more meat eggs vegetables sink to clean up in lots of milk extra fuel there's her little place where she eats She decided to pocket this one gem, so it kind of goes <laughs> goes wherever she goes. She found a little bobblehead guy at one point in time, so she likes to keep him there on the table. Tea and cupcakes. Yay. All right, let's go down here and see if she's still down here mining. No, she stopped. I, I made it to where she's she's using a scavenging station put into the rock and so she's technically welding into the rock but since I don't have an animation where it looks like she's hammering on the rock that's really the only one I could use. <laughs> so she's got she's found quite a bit of gems Some more gems there. Lots of tools. Uh, she uses the biometric scanner as a metal detector. And then there's the one a bit fish in the water. And then there's this one mirelark over here. Oh, there's the fish. Okay, now, I have to admit, I could not get these gems into the rock uh, with the pillar, and then I tried it with a conduit to give me more reach room, it wouldn't work. So, I had to uh, put them on like a, a table, and then used place anywhere to push them, actually push them into the rock. So. That was the only way I could get them in there, so that's why there's not very many of them because that was pretty tedious to try to do it that way. <laughs> so I did, I guess I did cheat as far as that the specific part goes, but I thought it would make sense to have some of these put into the rock. So I hope you don't freeze me out for that one, but uh, everything else was, uh, I didn't have to. Uh, 
do anything funky really. Most everything worked either just by placing it where it was or putting it on a rug and manipulating it that way. So I was pretty lucky with this little build. I didn't have to do a lot of weird stuff. So yeah. <clears throat> Well, that is about it, guys, and I really hope you like this little build. Uh, I had fun doing this, and so I, I hope Morpheus really enjoys it as well. So until next time, guys, take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Here's a quick nighttime look. <laughs>